As new information comes out, I think it's incredibly important to be able to adapt your response and beliefs towards certain things. In the past, I've always said, cold showers suck. And while I still think that cold showers suck, the reasons why I think that they suck are actually totally different. Looking back to the research articles that helped me make this decision years ago, is a study right here going over the lack of benefits from contrast therapy. The results were just not astounding to me. Additionally, this study here even showed negative responses to cold water immersion post-exercise, blunting the hormetic and enzymatic effect. However, things changed, and armed with a faithful companion and some new scientific research articles, I have restarted my foray into cold water immersion therapy. It doesn't take much either. Here I'm just using my uncovered winter pool, but others tend to use ice bags in a tub or something of the sort. I aim to get into the water and stay in for up to 11 minutes spread out throughout the week, normally in bouts of about 3 minutes. Now you may be wondering here, why am I breathing so aggressively like this? And for the answer to that, I'll bring you back to one of my favorite referenced books, Breathe by James Nestor. Now flipping towards the appendices of this book, he left a ton of resources of different types of breathing. Here, what I'm doing in the pool is Tumo, a popularized version by people like Wim Hof here, where I'm aggressively breathing to help warm up my body in the cold water. I try to stay present in the moment and really breathe into the experience. When I get out, typically my entire body feels like it's about a thousand degrees and I'm covered in goosebumps and lightly shivering and that's a totally normal response. Part of the mechanism behind what makes cold water immersion beneficial is stimulation of the vagal nerve, which helps regulate temperature and hormones in your body. This makes cold water immersion as a therapy to increase your resilience, often increasing heart rate variability amongst people that use it. This newest report, recently popularized in the media, shows a myriad of beneficial effects to thermoregulation in cold. While sometimes it may be better to shiver to warm up your body, other days I'm just not feeling it and I warm up in the hot tub after. The important part is finding a practice you can adhere to.